Hello everyone, and welcome again. In this video, I explain to you how to monitor the screen of domain users remotely, by using group policy. As an administrator, you may need this feature, in order to monitor domain users, and you can monitor users remotely in a very simple way. And you do not need any additional programs. This method will require several steps, and I will explain them to you step by step. First, we will need to know the name of the client's computer, and we will also need to know the name of the computer that we want to monitor. Open the client computer, and select the computer name. And also the name of the user, and here the user that we will work on is called, test1. After that, go back to the server, then open server manager dashboard. And then click on the tools menu, at the top of the page. From the menu, click on group policy management console. Then, on the left side, expand forest and select the domain you will work on. Then right click on the organizational unit, that includes the user whose screen you want to monitor, and from the menu select create a GPO in this domain and link it here. In the new GPO window, enter an appropriate name for this policy, so that it can be easily accessed, at any time you want, and then click on the OK button. Then right click on the GPO that was just created. From the menu, select edit. This will open the Group Policy Management Editor window. After that, expand the folders on the left side, to open the path shown in front of you on the screen. And I will leave the path for you, in the video description. After opening the path, go to the other side, and select the policy, Set rules for remote control of remote desktop services user sessions, and double click on it to open it. After opening the policy, select the enabled option, and at the bottom, open the available options, from which select, view sessions without user's permission option, then click on the apply button, then the OK button. You can now close the group policy management editor window, and close all open windows. After that, click on the Tools menu, then click on Active Directory Users and Computers. After that, select the container containing the user you want to monitor, then right-click on the user and select Properties. Then click on the Remote Control tab, and then, uncheck Require User's Permission. Then in the Level of Control section, select the option View the User's Session, then click on the Apply button, then the OK button. After that, open the client computer, and we will need to enable or allow the remote desktop. Right click on this computer, and from there select properties. Then click on remote settings on the left side, and enter the admin name and password to allow you to open remote settings. Then, select the option allow remote connections to this computer, so you can open the remote on this computer. Then click on Select Users button, and click on Add button. Then enter the name of the user whose screen you want to monitor. Click OK button, OK, then Apply, then OK button. The next step is to open the Command Prompt window, and then enter the command shown in front of you on the screen. I will leave it to you in the description of the video, which is Query User, in order to find out the ID of this computer. And here the ID is 1. Then open the command prompt window again, and enter the command that appears in front of you on the screen, to update the group policy, or you can restart the computer. After completing the policy group update successfully, return to the server again, and open the command prompt window. In the command prompt window, type the command that appears on the screen. I will leave you this command, in the video description. Type the command and change the ID, and also change the computer name, and then click on the enter button. It will immediately connect to the client, and you can now watch the user's screen, and monitor everything the user does, but without controlling the user's screen, you can only watch the user's screen. I will open anything on the client computer, just to try it out. After that, return to the server and you will find that you are watching everything that the client does. Of course, there are applications that may help you monitor the client computers directly, 
But this method is very safe, and there is no intermediary like unsafe applications. Despite the many steps in this method to monitor client computers, I prefer it. I hope the video is useful to you. Thank you for watching. And I also hope you subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.